<laughs> Hi, I'm Marco Wittmann and I'm driving for Valkenhorst Motorsport. Well, let's see, I mean, clearly a big switch in the DTM series to the GT3 cars. Um, for me, a bit difficult really to have a proper goal as it's also for me the first time to run the M6 in sprint format. So I, I, I mainly hope to have a good season with some good highlights, um, some podiums, maybe wins. Um, let's see where we're going to end up. Well, to be honest, in the past we called the green machine uh, inofficially Cordula Green. Um, if this is going to happen again, I don't know, I gave my mechanics the task really they should decide for an internal name because like of course on the social media it's green machine but let's see what comes out there i will let you know in monza latest no not really always marco or mega marco which is always a bit in the bmw family since uh, i became second time champion uh, most of the guys call me mega marco <laughs> well i think i'm a guy who is um, very consistent um, who is really strong in the qualifyings, but as well in the races, um, especially in the opening laps, but also in, in fights. A guy who um, not often has a damage on the car or crashes the car. So I'm always a guy who most of the races finish the races. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm the guy who, who really tries to find a compromise between some risk, but also um, switch on your head and, and be clever. Yeah, I hope so. That's, that's definitely the goal. Well, difficult to say. I mean, uh, in, the, in the past years in DTM, there was clearly um, some, some favorites on, 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 the, on the title, let's say, like René Rust in the past, Nico Müller. Um, but this year, there's quite a big change. Uh, a lot of new drivers, also somehow new drivers, but very well known to the GT3 cars. Um, so it's, it's really difficult to, to, to make a clear judgment. He is a cool guy, I have to say. He got a bit old, clearly, um, some grey hairs. Maybe it's also because I was with him in the team, I have no idea, I think you have to ask him. Um, he likes to eat nuts before he goes racing. He likes to drink apple wine after races. So we had some, some good times in, in our team track, I have to say. Um, no, but. I have to say he's a he's a good guy. He he really works hard, you know. Especially in his age, you know, he comes from F1. Um, he he managed to to deliver well in DTM, and um, he always pushes, you know, like to to beat me, to 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 get close. Um, he he looks very much into the data in video. Um, so he's a guy who works a lot, but you can have with him a lot of fun. I tell you, a lot of fun. We had many jokes, we had many laugh in the time in the truck. Pretty well organized, um, always on time, or at least I try to be always on time. Um, and yeah, then very, very passionate and ambitioned uh, within motorsport. It's probably Instagram. <laughs> uh, better, I will not check it. I think you always need to be realistic than optimistic. I think too much of optimism is not always the way to go. I think you have to be realistic um, and that applies kind of for normal life, for daily life, but also for motorsport um, topics. Um, so always try to be realistic what you can achieve, what you, where you can get and, and then try to aim for this. Oh fuck, of course without pineapple. <laughs>